Good morning, Boreda. Welcome to a crisp autumn morning in Wales. Well, so many of you have been asking where I live in Wales and what it's like here that uh, I thought I'd put together a video for you. So this is it, the video of where I live, Dinbych, also known as Denby. Now Denby is built on a huge rocky hill. In fact, its ancient name was Caledrin, literally hard hill in Welsh. Now I live in Lower Denby. Now to get to Upper Denby, where mostly everything happens, I have to ascend a long hill. It's known as Vale Street. It's a mile long, straight as a die, and uphill all the way. As you get about one third of the way up Vale Street, you'll meet this fellow, Dr. Evan Pierce, famous for saving Denby from a cholera epidemic in 1832, which was claiming 300 lives a month. So, well done that man. Let's continue. At about two thirds of the way up, you will see this handsome building, which when I was a lad, was the police station. And if you look down the side here, you can still make out the cell windows. And here we are virtually at the top. And on the corner is the old Town Hall building, built by the Earl of Leicester in 1572, and it's now our library. In front of the library is a modest statue of local boy John Rowlands, born in 1841 and better known to the world as explorer H.M. Stanley, who famously mounted an exploration of Central Africa to find the famous lost missionary David Livingston. And the story goes that when Stanley found him, he greeted him with the famous words, Dr. Livingston, I presume. Now, I'm going to take us across the town square and up a little alley over there by the pub. Up here. Now this fine edifice is the Burgess Gate, which in the 14th century would have been the main gate into the walled town of Dinbych, and would have been populated exclusively by English invaders. And if we pass through this gate, replete with portcullis grooves and murder holes, and look up the hill, we can see St Hilary's Tower. St Hilary was the garrison church for the castle. It was built in around 1300 and survived virtually intact until most of it was demolished in 1923, leaving only the tower remaining. Beyond the tower is the castle itself, occupying a commanding view over the surrounding countryside. It was built in the 13th century by King Edward to subdue the native Welsh. And it's believed to be the site of an even earlier Welsh fortress, from which Dinbych takes its name. Leaving the castle, and once again passing the church tower, we see this structure hiding in the trees. This is the ruin of the Earl of Leicester's church which was the first Protestant church to be built in Britain after the Reformation. But unfortunately, it was never completed after the Earl Robert Dudley died in 1588. We are now down at the northeastern tower of the castle walls, which gives a magnificent view of Glan Clwyd, the Clwydian Vale and its hills. through the woods below us and we'll arrive at somewhere that's um, quite famous. Just 
just taking some time out here to look at the beautiful autumn colours. Leaving the autumn woods, we arrive at Middleton College, which until recently was a very exclusive boarding school for girls, known as Howell's School. Built in 1859, and alma mater to some famous ex-pupils, including the richest woman in Britain, Kirsty Bertarelli, with an estimated fortune of over £12 billion. Also, Lisa Scott Lee of the former pop group Steps. Actresses Sheila Allen, Joanna Scanlon and Neris Hughes. And Olympic bobsleigh champion Laura Diaz. Now, back into the woods to follow a footpath that's sandwiched between the school and the castle walls. past the stony pile known as Goblin Tower, reputedly haunted, and through Goblin Woods, known locally as Akoid Gwynyai, the White Woods. Taking a breather to admire the Vale, we can see in the distance a clue to our next port of call. And as we leave the woods here, our mystery location gets even closer. Now you might be forgiven for thinking that this is a stately home, but it's not. It's actually a nurse's home. And it's here where I met and courted my lovely wife when I was training to be a staff nurse in psychiatry at this place here the once prestigious teaching hospital known as the North Wales Hospital for Nervous and Mental Disorders, affectionately known locally as just The Mental. I spent most of my working life in this impressive establishment until, along with many other hospitals, it was scrapped by a harsh and uncaring government in 1995. It's now a mere shadow of its former self and has fallen victim to arsonists and vandals. Continuing past the hospital onto this little footpath, which will give me a pleasant route home. Well, this little path should open out soon into a open fields and then just a few miles across those and I should be home again. Here we can see the rear aspect of the former Howell School, Denby Quarry in the distance and somewhere between the two, my house. So there we go, a quick tour of my hometown of Dinbich, better known as Denby. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, don't forget to like and share. And I hope to be doing more videos like this soon, so um, I'll see you then. Till then, Will Vaurichi.